What is up YouTube, Josh from Strengthside. I have been on a journey and that journey has taken me a few years, let's say maybe five to six years of opening up the hips. After years of lifting weights and becoming really, really stiff in the hips, I found it so hard to open my legs to the side. So today I wanna to share two stretches that have really helped me along the way. And the great thing about these stretches, if you're a complete beginner and really, really stiff, you can do these as well. So if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up button right now. Follow us on Instagram. It's at the strength side and let's stretch it out. Hip openers, numero uno. So I like to start in just a basic hip flexor slash quad kind of lunge position here. And we can start by just bouncing in and out of here, opening up the hip flexor. But this is just preparing us for that hip opening that we're about to do. Okay, so maybe I do five of these. I'm feeling a little bit more open here. I'm feeling more lubricated. Now I'm gonna swivel my shin this way. This is gonna stay in the exact same position. And now, so I gotta speak into the mic here. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my hips kind of diagonally, right? So not forward this way and not forward this way, but this way. I'm kind of going at a diagonal and down to the ground. And what you're gonna feel is a big stretch through this groin here. It's, it's, it's a really nice angle to help get these inner thighs, even like those high tight adductor muscles and the hip flexors get a bit of a stretch here. If you haven't done this before, it's gonna feel different than most of the stretches that you've done. So what we can do is we can kind of bounce in and out of this position like we were doing previously. On this last one, I'm gonna hold here and just try to connect to my breath. See if I can let, see if I can signal these muscles to relax and let go a little bit more. Essentially what this is doing is allowing me to stretch my inner thighs while I'm still in internal rotation of the hip for you anatomy nerds out there. Okay, let's move on to number two. So number two, have a seat down on the ground, get comfy for a sec. And what we're gonna do is a butterfly scoot, okay? So you're gonna start like so, feet pressed together on your butt, kind of try not to be slouched over like this. Try to get a nice good posture with the chest up. And from here, what I'm gonna do, and you can use both arms, I just have to hold the mic with one, is I'm going to lift my hips and I'm gonna scoop myself forward so my hips come towards my heels here. I'm gonna press my knees down into the ground as hard as I can, and then I'm gonna let off and come back, all right? So each time I come forward and scoot, I'm really trying to press those knees down and then come back. So for a lot of you guys, you might look more like this and that's completely fine. It's all about the intention that we're putting in here to press those knees down and to open up these inner, this, 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 this groin and these inner thighs. And essentially think of it as the, the knees aren't just going straight down, but we're kind of doing this rotation effect. So we're trying to get some external rotation of the hip as we drive the knees down, okay? So we come forward, externally rotate, see if we can get those shins, knees to touch the ground. If you're just flying down and your knees hit the ground, then you probably don't need to be doing this stretch. This is for us, this is for us stiffies, that have a hard time opening up the hips. And years ago, I would be nowhere close to this range of motion. I was in this range of motion here. So it's just taking some time of doing stuff like this that helps you gradually, gradually become looser in the hips. So those are two stretches that will help you with the foundation of figuring out how to open this up. Now, something that you can practice after this to kind of track your progress is a simple pancake stretch, okay? So for the pancake, we need to be able to open the hip in the way that we were just training it to be able to fold down, get low, right? So if I can't open my hip, it's gonna more look like this. I'm not gonna be able to spread my legs. My hips are gonna be like really stuck here and then it's gonna cause me to round my spine, right? So in the beginning, 
elevate your hips on a pillow or something like that. And then we can just try to keep those hips open as I reach down this way, right? So I'm trying to keep my back arched. And like I said, this is a great way to track your progress, right? Because what you should find is as those hips open and become more flexible, then you're able to pull yourself down more and more, right? Obviously this incorporates the hamstring flexibility as well. So you get to train your hamstrings a little bit too. But we do this and over time, you'll see improvement in that pancake. So I recommend doing each of these stretches for about 10 reps and repeat that twice. So do about two to three sets of these stretches and then test in the pancake after. See if you are actually making some good progress. So uh, we're here in Mexico, loving it. Such a beautiful place to be. And uh, we're gonna move into a little bit of my day, some stretching, some snorkeling. If you wanna stay tuned and hang out, let's do it. So we're out here in uh, Puerto Morelos, Mexico, kind of in between Cancun and Tulum. And uh, it's kind of a smaller little fishing village. Really nice, really relaxing. Been out here for the week, about to go snorkeling today. Living it up, man. It's so nice down here. Uh, I'd recommend anybody that wants to check it out, check it out, man. Chrissy, are you excited for snorkeling? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not what you were saying just a second ago. Well, you want me to tell the full truth? I'm yeah. feeling really scared. Cause uh, even just seeing like tiny fishes in the water freaked me out. So to actually like go out there and like look at a lot is making me nervous. So you're a little nervous. I feel like my heart is like, ooh. <laughs> Where we are Are you scared of the fish? No, they're so cute. <laughs> and they're so pretty. Like, I never realized. Like, I used to go to the like aquarium all the time as a kid. Yeah. Now I'm like, I'm inside the aquarium. Yeah. Which is just the world. <laughs> mm. So, snorkeling was super fun. Chrissy, you enjoyed it? I had the best time ever. Really pretty, man. It's actually was a. Uh, a lot cooler than I expected. I didn't know the reef was gonna be that yeah, pretty and alive pretty. with life. Now we're gonna get some food. I'm trying to get my egg on. <laughs> I still got the snorkel marks. I just wanted to make sure no water would get in. <laughs> got it real tight. Okay, chile quiles. There it is. Oh, there we go. Can I it? Just did a quick little session out here at this a beautiful school and basketball court here right next to the beach oh my gosh lovely place to train so me and chrissy actually spent about three months here last year the end of last year before we moved to texas this little town called puerto morelos it's been really nice coming back to visit we made a lot of friends here so we got to see them everyone's like remembers us it's it's really sweet and man i really love mexico it's like people are so warm here and the culture is so rich and um and in this part of mexico it's extremely beautiful the food is really tasty <laughs> one thing that's really gave me a good perspective on life i believe is traveling a bit spending some time outside of the u.s um i didn't spend any time outside of the u.s until i turned 25 or 26 was my first trip um, I never left the country when I was young uh, and it was just such an eye-opener and I really fell in love with traveling. It's been a tricky thing to balance because, uh, you know, being a, having a home base and stability, uh, it also makes me feel really, really good, you know, and being just like in a nice routine and um, feeling a part of a community. I mean, all these things really contribute to a sense of well-being but then traveling just kind of like opens your eyes to so many different things you just have all these experiences that you probably wouldn't have had if you were at home so it's been my mission in the last couple of years to try to balance these two things and to get some travel in when i can but not to feel the need to be completely nomadic 
and just live on the road, which was something that I really idealized, romanticized for a while. And I kind of did it for a while. And while I had a lot of fun, I think I was not as grounded as I could have been. So those are just some thoughts on traveling. If you get a chance to uh, come down to Mexico and spend a little time, it's very inexpensive for anybody in the US. And um, I think it can really open your eyes to a lot of, a lot of cool things. Good, done. Chrissy's gonna film some stretching for me. Thanks, Chrissy. So I, while we've been in Mexico, I've been working on a bit more stretching because the sand is so nice to, to stretch on. So basically I've been working on pancake. So working on trying to keep my kneecaps up, not letting it dive in. Trying to get real long. Yeah, it's good stuff. So take a few breaths here. I've also been training a little passive middle splits because I can't really put the, the force down on my ankle right now, so I'm having to support myself, but I've never really trained it passively, so it's been kind of fun actually. From here. Once again, the sand mix is so helpful to be able to kind of slightly slide my feet further and further. This is always a range I've been so pitiful in. So getting slight, slight improvements feels so good. Oh, okie dokie. Pry myself out of that one. And the last one I've been training a little bit is my bridge. Because I haven't done any bridging in probably like over a year. So it feels stiff and the bridge I think is probably the best display of like full body mobility that there is. Wait, do a bridge really quick. <laughs> You're on the spot. Okay, nice. So that'll be nice to have that frame of reference for my friend. <laughs> Trying to let my chest open, get those traps pushing forward, and let the hips open. <laughs> How'd it look compared to yours? I didn't see mine. <laughs> Probably nothing compared to Chrissy's, but decently open for mine, so that's what I've been working on. Well, no, I think bridge and pancake is really good to work towards for anybody. Middle splits. Eh, don't really need it, but if you're really limited there like I was, then it's really nice to like, you know, improve on that. So, okay. I think that's good. <laughs> Yo guys, we drop videos every single Friday and a short on Wednesday. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, stay tuned in and have some fun with us. If you found this video valuable, hit that like button and let me know how those hips are feeling after doing these stretches. Like I always say, when it comes to stretching, it takes a while. So don't give up, stay consistent, keep doing it, and you will eventually see some really cool progress. It just takes that mental fortitude. You gotta keep going at it. If you're interested in routines with all types of different stretches and movements for staying loose and opening up the body, then check out our guided program. First link in description. Hey, I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next one.